Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, back here, I guess, mixing and matching videos and doing stuff out of order, trying to get some some stuff edited and get some stuff posted. Um, so this video is gonna be, it, 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 well, let's see. I was gonna tie it on to the end of the TBSS intake install video for the S10, which that that uh, that install's already happened. Um, unfortunately, that's what I've been doing. I've been sitting here editing it. And when I got to the end, uh, the day I got the truck running, I ended up having to run and do some stuff. And so I never did really get an ending on that video. And the truck's on the lift at the shop right now. Um, so I talked to dad earlier, UPS didn't show up. Um, Waiting on the drive shaft for this car. When I ordered my third member, I ordered a 1350 yoke and the drive shaft had a 1330 joint. And I didn't want to do a conversion joint. I wanted to do a solid 1350. Um, so anyway, I shipped the drive shaft back to Panhandle Drive Line in Milton. And hopefully, hopefully they got it out. UPS will deliver it tomorrow to the shop. I'll run and go get it. And then I'll be able to shoot the rest of the footage, you know, just show the the finished intake install without the ghetto elbow stuff going on and y'all understand all that once it's done and i can get it posted but anyway this is what i'm what i'm doing in this video um so when i went from the traditional truck intake to the tbss intake obviously i go from a three bolt to a four bolt throttle body and I had a, I think it's Harris Speedworks, um, three bolt perimeter nitrous plate on the other intake. Um, that obviously won't work with that 92 millimeter Chinese throttle body. So I ordered an ICT billet, one inch spacer and drilled and tapped it. Um, that's all fixing to follow in this video, but I just wanted to kind of explain what's going on. So I figured I'd put this video together, get it posted, kind of just you know, throw some more information out there for y'all. Uh, let's see here. See if we can check this out, what we got going on under here. Nope, maybe not. Let me get a light. Well, as y'all can see, um, I got the 9-inch put together axles in it, uh, third member in it. No drive shaft. So, hopefully tomorrow um get that slapped in check the trans make sure it's full already filled the axle up um same 456 uh well it's technically it's like a 457 if you round it but rear gear it's got a wave track locker 35 spline Mosier axles nodular iron performance case Aluminum Daytona Pinion Sport and a Chrome Molly 1350 Oak with a set of Pro Gears in it. So, hopefully, um, shouldn't break this one. But anyway, show y'all that. Give you a little cool content. See how dirty the car is. Uh, got a killer new shop refrigerator. Like a 50s model GE. Um, got it from a bike guy. But it does work. I gotta clean it up and we'll build some new stainless racks for it and sand it, paint it. That'll be the new shop fridge. Um, the bottom door is over there. But just wanted to kind of put a little bit more out there, you know, that makes a little bit more sense. So, anyway, appreciate y'all tuning in. Check the video out. Let me know what you think. All right. Bye. Hey, boys and girls. Me again. Um, figure I'd add to the video. Um, got the uh, spacer chucked up in the vise. I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing. Uh, that way we can get nitrous back on the S10. And then uh, we'll go from there. But got got that old, that old spacer chucked up right there. Show y'all that. All right. So normal fashion. <clears throat> I started working without starting video stuff. So. There's the bolts for it, extended bolts. But anyway, it's a ITC billet, one inch LS3, LSA throttle body spacer. So with the TBSS intake, it's a four bolt throttle body with that Chinese 92 on it. 
and so I need a I can't use my Harry Speedwork three bolt plate so I got one of these from a buddy of mine um, and what I'm doing we measured the threads and it's 1 8 27 NPT so I've got a tap and a bit and then a bunch of bits to step up to it starting with a 1 8 <laughs> so drill the hole mark the center drill the hole so this is the bottom side so I'm gonna drill all this and then tap it and thread that bad boy in there and we should have nitrous back on the truck so anyway I'm gonna keep stepping this up and it'll be like magic it'll go from that big to a bigger hole all right guys see that metal noodle right there that's what you want started with eighth inch went to whatever that is on up um, I'll probably get another one between those this is the final size for the tap it's a s um, letter bit but anyway don't mind the mess these are valves out of a set of 243s that I'm gonna finish porting you know three or four years from now um, but anyway you want to step up stuff like that and it's uh, it's a lot better on your bit it's a lot easier to do once you get a pilot hole I want to show y'all something now this this is as slow as this this is a northern tool uh, drill press that's as slow as it'll go which is a little fast but works pretty good um, this is old China freight drill press vise got some rags on there not to you know screw this up but when you when you drill something I don't know if I can hold this and do it all at the same time but without it turning I don't have the vise bolted down but you want noodles to come off like that it's torque over speed that means it's cutting good now when you see people run a drill with a bit in it into a piece of metal which I mean it's aluminum so it is softer but it's the principle for steel and everything you want noodles like that you want big pieces coming off and when people you see people take a drill and put a drill bit in it and just run it wide open into a hole and it starts squealing and smoking and stuff i mean they obviously don't know what they're doing you do not want that to happen you want torque over speed and you want it to cut good i mean this is a perfect example which this is aluminum so keep in mind it's softer but i mean steel whatever it don't matter that's what you want you want noodles and um that, that helps your drill bits last a lot longer. Once it starts squeaking, that drill bit's gone. So, anyway, a little uh, Nitrous Express, little nozzle. But I don't like these because you, you clamp them in and if it vibrates loose and ends up in the motor, plus it puts the nitrous in front of the throttle body. So it's not, it's gonna have a lot more turbulence and stuff. I figured it'd spray better like this in the spacer just a little idea i came up with and it's a whole lot cheaper i mean that i can't remember that spacer is 30 bucks or 40 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that but um i don't actually remember and it's made in the usa believe it or not but um the uh like a four bolt nitrous plate's a whole lot more money and i mean i'm cheap this you know i got 3500 bucks tied up in this truck give or take a little so it's gonna get it's going to end up being more here soon i gotta buy some more tires i keep burning them up but anyway we're gonna keep going all right now it's got the right size hole in it you want to start your tap nice and straight i got a little little irish spring soap on there keep them from clogging up with the aluminum so this is the old plate old harry speed work plate pretty cool stuff but anyway there's your Irish spring. So I'm gonna get that tapped and then we'll go from there. All right, this is it. It's done, tapped. It, uh, it's about a, probably 30, 30 degrees off and I just snugged it up a little bit more and it's straight pointed in the intake so it'll go on like this. So should work pretty well. There's a poor man's nitrous plate a regular old nitrous plate which i got that used of course um i did mean to tell y'all when you tap something i like to go in about you know turn turn and a half two turns and then back it up about a half a turn helps clean the threads out and go about halfway and then pull it totally out clean it out a little bit and start that way you finish tapping it but anyway i deburred it and then got it in there